Welcome to Pathways of Hope. I am Lorna Campos. Have you ever had the experience of being so excited to eat this dish? It smelled so good. It looked so appetizing. But when you tasted it, something's missing. Once I was on vacation and I was going to cook this delicious meal for my husband and I brought all his special ingredients. But I forgot one thing. I said, hmm, maybe he won't notice. It's such a small ingredient. So I cooked it. I made it so appetizing. I was so cheerful when I presented it to him. Did he notice? Mm, he couldn't be tricked. Guess the missing ingredient. So small, it was salt. In Matthew 5, 13 to 16, Jesus calls us, you are the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Let's focus on salt. What image comes to your mind with the word salt? The sea? The saltiness of the sea? She swim with the fish? Salt, taste, food. My mother-in-law's favorite dried fish. Or this pink Himalaya lamp for its healing quality. As we reflect on the image of salt, I believe we are invited to consider three things. You are the salt of the earth. Identity. Salt the earth. Mission. If salt loses its saltiness, a warning. You are the salt of the earth. Identity. Mission warning. Did you know that in the Roman times, the soldiers were paid sometimes in salt? Salt was such a valuable commodity then. It was expensive. The Latin word sal, for salt, is the derivative from which the English word salary comes from. So when Jesus says, you are the salt of the earth, He's telling us we are valuable, we have worth. Mission, salt the earth. Salt preserves, salt cleanses, salt heals. I don't know if you've ever had that experience when you try to share about God or do the good deed and wonder, does it make any difference? It seems so insignificant, our impact on our surroundings. Remember the dish I tried to serve my husband, hoping he wouldn't notice what was lacking? He noticed, right? So when salt is missing, it's noticeable. So persevere in salting your environment. Persevere with your kindness, with goodness, with purity. It makes a difference. Even though we're unaware, it makes a difference. And yet sometimes reality is... We get so overwhelmed by what goes around us that we lose our saltiness, right? We become like everybody else and we get caught up in, in what's going on, we even sin, our personal weaknesses. So what to do? When salt loses its saltiness, it's good for nothing but to be trodden upon. Here we have hope. Where sin abounds, grace abounds. And by the mercy of God, He can restore our saltiness. He can renew us and make us whole once more. So I invite you at the start of the day to say, Lord, how can I be salt today? Make me salty. In the middle of the day, say, Lord, how am I doing? How can I make a difference in the surroundings? At the end of the day, we can review Oh, celebrate the wins. We had some good impact. Or repent. You are the salt of the earth. By God's grace, we can live out this identity. Salt the earth. Through His Holy Spirit, He will guide our words and our actions. Watch out. Losing your saltiness. And we say, Lord, help. Help me remain the salt of the earth. 
help me to make a difference for others. God bless! Be salt and light this week! Bye!